Paleozoic means ancient life. In the beginning of the Paleozoic era, there are so many new kinds of life. There are some of the oldest life on Earth. Thanks to the cyanobacteria, Earth's atmosphere was full of oxygen. Cells that were different could form plants and animals. We don't have proof that these plants and animals, because their bodies were too squishy to be fossilized, but scientists really do think that something would have happened like this. Sud because suddenly there were bursts of plants and animals in the Paleozoic era. The Paleozoic era began about five billion and a years ago. And new life forms could live on oxygen. Animal groups were represented at the beginning of the Paleozoic era. Some including arthropods, mollusks, jellyfish, worms, sponges, and echinoderms were present. The first <coughs> chordates, chordates appeared in the Paleozoic era too. In the first three periods of the Paleozoic era, there was no life on land, and all life was in the ocean. By the end of the Silurian period, this happened slowly at first. By the Carnivorous period, plants and animals were living on land. Amphibians started to live in the Devonian period. There were many amphibians by the Carboniferous period. They lived part of their life on land and the other part in water. But, but they, they had to lay their eggs in the water. The first reptiles evolved at the end of the Paleozoic era. In the beginning of the Mesozoic, they could lay their eggs on land. The Permian period was the last period of the Paleozoic era. Something odd happened in the Permian period. Many animals became extinct. Some species survived. But the Earth would need a lot of time to recover from the Great Permian Extinction. The Mesozoic Era was the age of reptiles. There were three periods in the Mesozoic Era, which were the Jurassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous <coughs> period. Just like the Paleozoic Era, each period in the Mesozoic Era had its own special characteristics. Supercontinent Pangea, my favorite. Yeah, it's your favorite. But sworn by the end of the Paleozoic era. Most of the era, like all of this, land was part of the Pangea. This affected Earth weather a lot. The Mesozoic era was hot and dry. <laughs> there were deserts in the Mesozoic era, and all the swamps in the Paleozoic era dried up. Of the Mesozoic era. During the Jurassic period, reptiles thrived and new reptiles evolved. And many reptiles were born. Fish-like reptiles swam in the ocean. On land, there were lizards, which were more like enormous reptiles. The reptiles grew in numbers of them, kept growing and growing and growing. The Jurassic period was the second period in the Mesozoic era. Now we have flying reptiles that see in the Jurassic sky. A new, a new kind of animal that lived in the Jurassic period was the dinosaurs. People believe that the dinosaurs were reptiles, but they are wrong! Dinosaurs are different from reptiles. Their skeletons allowed them to stay up better and run faster. And they were warm-blooded. Dinosaurs came in different sizes. Some were huge, like the Tyrannosaurus rex, and some were tiny. Scientists believe the birds today followed the dinosaurs. Pangaea was almost broken apart by the end of the Jurassic period. By the end of the Cretaceous period era, all the continents were broken apart and the climate was changing. Flowering plants were growing in the Cretaceous period. These plants could grow in places that moth, fern, carnivorous, not because they produce seeds and seeds would not bloom until they were supplied with water. Some of the large predators in the Mesozoic oceans were the Plesiosaurus, which had a very long neck, four flippers, sharp teeth, and could grow from 8 to 45 feet long. The Isosaurus had also very sharp teeth. They used their flippers and fins to swim smoothly through the water. The Mesosaurus 
was also a good swimmer. All of these fish reptiles could breed underwater. These, these reptiles, these rep, these, wait, these reptiles ate some of the fish that are in our waters today. In the Mesozoic era, this was also a time of beautiful animites. Animites were cephalopods. Yeah. They had a soft body, but lived in a large shell. Their head sticked out of the shell along with the tentacles. Cephalopod means head foot. Animites were probably an important part of the Mesozoic Sea reptile diet. The Mesozoic era ended with a mass extinction. Hasta la vista, Ammonites. <laughs> we did good on that one! So Abby knew it was over. She was smarter than I was. No, I didn't.